Okay, so I want to show you templates. These are really useful. I'm here in Word. I'm going to show you how this works on the Mac as well. This is the Windows version. Very, very similar. Pretty much everything I tell you here works on the Mac version as well. So the great thing about templates is you can put in what you want on there, whatever text, images, styling, formatting, all that kind of thing. And then every time you open it, it's there ready to go the way you wanted it. And the nice thing about this is when you open it and you click on save instead of save as, or you could still click on save as, it's going to want to save it as a new document. And this is really useful because what I see people doing is they'll have a document such as an invoice. They'll open an existing one. They'll over type what the data that they've got in there, the content, and then they do save as. And as you probably realize, it's easy to hit save by mistake. And there's also auto save. So it could overwrite that existing document that you've already got. And you don't want to do that. So it's a bit of a fail safe there. And each time you open one, it'll actually create it as a new document. Now, you may not realize this, but this blank document that I've got here is a template. It's just a blank one. And at the top there, it says document one. If I go to file and go to new and choose blank document, it comes up at the top here as document two. Now, you probably saw that if I go back to file and new, I've got one here called an invoice. And I'm going to show you how to create this document. So I'm going to go to invoice. I click on it. It opens. It's now called it document three. That helps with the problem of saving and causing a problem with losing it. So I could any information in there. So I could put in some information such as let's just put the date in here and I could fill in the rest. I could call this invoice number 10. So when I go to save now and I could use my save button at the top here or I could go into file and save and then I can choose where I want it to go. So I'm just going to put it I'm going to go to this PC and I've got one down here called invoices. And I'm just going to give this one a name. So let's just call this invoice 10. So let's just at least spell that right. So the good thing is it's now saving it. And it's in there. You can see it's saved up at the top. So this is really handy. So I'm going to show you how to create one. So let's make out that this one here is a document. It's called invoice 10 at the moment. And as you can see, I cleared out the date and the invoice number. I've got the address and I could put in here, say, job, job reference. Now, the good thing is, is I'm going to save this as a template. And the thing about saving it as a template, it was is that it will go into a particular folder for templates every time. The good thing is you don't need to know where that is. So what I'm going to do is go into File. I'm going to choose Save As. And then over here where you've got the file type and it says Word Documents, I'm going to click there and I'm going to choose Word Template. Now, this is the one that's got dot, dot, X at the end of it. There is a dot M as well. That's if you've got macros in there. And macros are something else again, but you would need to save it as that one. You can see there is the older format. You shouldn't really have to worry about that. I'm going to go to the Word template here. That's the latest version. And it is going to save it into that folder. Now, I just want to change the file name here. I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to do this as 2020. I'm going to click on Save. Let's just close that. Okay, and we're back to here now. If I go to File, New, where I'm going to find it is just here. These are the recently used ones at the top. Underneath here, you'll see it's got Office, and it's got another one that says Personal. And under Personal, you'll see the one that I've just created. So all I've got to do is click on it to open it, and it's ready to go. The good news is, if I hit Save, I'm not accidentally going to overwrite it, because it's going to prompt me to fill that in. Let's just click on cancel for that. So you've got a template and you want to be able to make changes to it. What I would recommend is making any changes you need to here, such as changing this to 
IT trainer and then doing save as and giving it another name. So if I was to do that and let me just do save as this PC and let me go to my dot x I can give it a new name so invoice let's just call it new just for simplicity and then the great thing is just like before I can go into file new and here it is under personal slightly different place when I do it on a Mac let's have a look at that on a Mac now so here I am on the Mac now and you can see it looks slightly different but I'm now just going to open up that same invoice that I had before. So all I need to do is go into File and choose New from Templates. You can see a whole load of templates here and you could explore these. These are all ones provided by Microsoft and if you were looking on the Windows one you would have seen similar ones there if not exactly the same. The difference is, is up here at the top where it says Featured, next to it is Personal and that's where you will find your templates. And by the way, you can have a number of templates here, as many as you need really to do your work. For this, I just double click and it opens up as an invoice. So if I want to save a template, let's say I've created a new template. So let's just put in here Job Reference. So it's a slightly different template. What I have to do, pretty much very similar to what I did on the PC, I go to File, Save as Template. Now before I went Save As, let's just do Save as Templates. Again, it will put it in the same place as all the other templates. It automatically does that. You don't have to worry about choosing your template space for that. And there it is, Invoice 2020. Let's just hit Save. If I go back to my file and choose new from template and you'll see it's now got the two different templates there. So one interesting thing is, is if I do have a template on a Mac or on Windows, I can copy it into that template folder on another machine and it will work there just as well. So that's how you can use templates. It's going to save you time and it's also going to save you the possibility of overwriting existing files if what you're doing is opening up a file that already looks similar, making a change and then going to save as and but accidentally hitting save or the auto save overwriting it. Thanks for watching. If you like this, I've got plenty more videos on my YouTube channel. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.